everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Sew with Sarah. I'm so excited you're joining us again this week. If you're watching live, go ahead and comment in the live chat and let us know where you're watching from because um, I'll be in there chatting back and forth with you guys. And if you're catching it later, just comment and tell us where you're watching from. We love to know where everyone's at and chat with you guys down here. Um, so again, thank you so much for joining us. This is episode three and this week's going to be a fun one because we're going to go over to Annie's house and see what she's up to this Friday. I know she's working on something for a baby shower that she has coming up. So I'm excited to see what design she's chosen to gift um, to the mother. Well, she's not gifting the design. She's stitching it out, but she'll be gifting it to the mother. And you should also make sure that you stick around until the end of this episode because I like to give away things and you will find out how to get something for free from us um, with a coupon code. So stick around, hang out with Annie and I, and then you can snag that coupon code at the end of this video. You guys, it's Friday night and I came over to Annie's house, who's my mom, if you didn't know. Came over to Annie's house for a little girl's night and I was gonna bring brownies and surprise her, but that's another story we'll share later. I couldn't measure properly. I Very guess. disappointing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. But I came over to her house and look what she was working on. What do you yeah. tell them what you're working on? Well, I'm working on a growth chart for a friend awesome. I know that's going to have a baby in a couple months. That's exciting. Yeah, and it's so stinking cute. Yeah. I mean, I've looked at the sample that we have at the office, yeah. but when I sit down to stitch out, it's like so many details. And the cute sayings that are on it are yes. just perfect. Yeah, I've never seen it in person, so it's fun to see it in person. You're kind of doing like rainbow colors, which is really cute. I am. She's doing a Noah's Ark um, theme in the cute. nursery. So I thought, well, a rainbow colors would be perfect for that. Since there really wasn't like Ark and Noah stuff yeah. in the design, I yeah. thought that theme in with the, the fabric. Very so. cute. Yeah, I have a friend who's due right around Christmas time and this is giving me ideas for maybe a Christmas gift for her and her new little baby. That, that would be a have. great idea. So and I'm hoping that I also have time before she has her baby to make that little bursting box. Okay, that's I cute. Think, and with the leftover fabric, hopefully if I have That'd enough. Be cute. Hopefully <laughs> you got enough. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, I don't know. We'll see. I Let's bet see you have enough. I can probably get more. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, but that's what I'm doing this Friday night. But I promise you, it won't be all work and no play. Okay. So <laughs> maybe we'll watch a movie or something. So have some fun. Yeah, have night. some fun. So we don't have brownies. We might have to whip up some cookies or something. We might have know. to do that. We might I don't have know. to. My brownies were a little soupy, so. <laughs> so what's the story on the brownies? Well, you know, as a designer who writes instructions, I should understand that you should follow <laughs> instructions, right? Nah. Well, I had boxed brownies and I did not follow the instructions. I tried to do too many substitutes and... It did not work. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Yeah. So making brownies without eggs and using flax ground yes. flax so just a substitute doesn't evidently work. Especially when you don't measure it right. But <laughs> that's my mistake. That's all right. But I, you know what? I think I really want to show them because I just love these colors. I really want to show them your colors. Yeah, so. let's show them, and, I, and then I'll, we'll them. tell them what. Since it's not completely finished, we can talk about what the some border tricks. says. And yeah. Some, Adorable and if there's stuff. anything that's a little different about this one. Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, so do you want to tell us a little bit more detail about what you're working on? Yeah, um, basically it is a growth chart. So when you hang it, you're going to hang it one, six inches off the ground. So the first measurement is six inches is the bottom and then seven inches is the next line. And basically um, the instructions called for the six colors. I have one additional color because I wanted to get that rainbow effect. So you so didn't follow the instructions. I did not That's follow dangerous. It is like we very just said. dangerous. I was afraid I'd get my colors on the order and do something wrong, but I think once Or your I brownies end up soupy. Right, right, exactly. If you don't follow the recipe, you don't follow the instructions. Yeah. So I guess it'd be on me if I don't follow the instructions. It's very cute though. It is cute. And I love how the border says 
I have to look at it here because I don't have it all fixed, but I did lay out my colors so I knew which one to grab next. But it says, look at me grow, and then a cute little kid, and then don't blink, you'll miss it. And on this side, it's going to say, I'm growing fast, hugs, laughs, and kisses. And I love that these pictures of these kids, and there's like a ball and jacks game on there. Mm -hmm. That is just, it's like a... <laughs> A child's drawing. Yeah, it's, it's so very cute. cute. Did that go there? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> don't mess it up. It's very cute. So you're going to make my my two-year-old one too, right? Right. That's I, what think you're doing I, next. I think I should. I think I should. You need to pick out your fabric. Okay, you guys heard it. She's making me one. Yeah, and I think another change that I'm going to do is at the very top, at the, it goes up to six feet, so at the top we're going to add another piece of fabric and that's in the instructions. I might embroider this name on there. But that could think, also be idea. dangerous because if she has like 10 kids. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. She's only thinking about this. I don't think she has 10 kids. But something to think about if you put a name on there that each sub 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 subsequent, I can't talk about it. Yeah. Friday night, you know. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, you may feel obligated to keep doing it, but it, it, it stitches up super fast. So, yes, let's make one for Jacob. Okay, we'll All do right. it. That's so we'll do that on another Friday night. Got it. Okay. <laughs> brownies but we're working you have your yes you probably i prefer brownies over <laughs> no i actually i really enjoying making this i so, really am i have to tell them something one of the things that i love about annie and linda one of my favorite things is they are really teachers at heart <laughs> right i think yeah. you are i think you love teaching yep. so mm -hmm. she had to show you guys how to trim these blocks, which I think is great. You learn a little bit. And she's murmuring and complaining because it's Friday night and here she <laughs> I is. I just worked all week. That's <laughs> right, I know, I get it, I That's get it. Okay. After this, I promise we'll step into cookie baking okay. mode or something, okay. <laughs> something different, watching a movie, okay. anything. But um, I came over here, I realized the previous block I had not trimmed yet. So since um, I'll show you what you do when you trim them, if it's anything, this one's half trimmed. And this is the edge of the, the little wall hanging, and so it's going to have binding sewn to that. We don't have a backing on here, um, and it doesn't matter. You're going to trim that a quarter of an inch from that basting stitch. And then the other three sides will have another block joined to it. So we're going to use the Trimmer by George to trim that up. So for those who don't know, the Trimmer by mm -hmm. George has this awesome metal edge, and that is used to protect the fabric that is on the front, my orange fabric. And it's a must have, I it, think. It, it really is. Now you're going into infomercial oh, mode on a sorry. Friday night. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> okay. I just love yeah. it. I use it for everything. I know. Honestly. Anything there you need to remove the bulk and a seam mm -hmm. or quilt as you go, patterns, designs. Mm -hmm. Well, you just slide that metal edge between our battleizer and the fabric on the front and lay it down and then you just give it a gentle tug to pull it so that, that the basting stitch is as close to the metal edge on the inside as you can. And she's trimming Whoop. this while she's sitting down. So it's making it a little bit more difficult. A little but nerve she was too tall and we couldn't see her head. <laughs> yeah, and nobody ever says I that know. about me. <laughs> So mm -hmm. see how it removes the the bulk in the seam? So the fabric on the front will then trim to quarter of an inch here in a second. I'm going to do this again on this side. And if you tried to do this, be, trust me, I've tried to just fold the fabric back and That's use your rotor. That's used to do it, right? Before right. Before by George. Right. And the problem was you would have to be you'd nick your fabric or to compensate to avoid nicking it, you'd maybe leave a little more mm -hmm. bulk with that, the batting in there. But or even a scissors, you end up cutting into yeah. it. So that's why this metal edge is genius on this acrylic ruler. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. <laughs> that's a whole nother story. That's for another Friday <laughs> Yeah, night. another Friday. So we'll then you're going to trim um, these three sides a quarter of an inch from the basting stitch, but we won't do it now. Okay. What do you want to do now? You want to go play sequence? Only if we, we have, have cookies. Box. I have frozen okay. cookie oh, dough. Okay. It's not homemade, we but we can cookies. pack will... those in the oven and play sequence. Okay, I will And I'm going to beat you. Okay. Five diamonds. Oh, I win. man. The cookies are Oh, ready. my gosh, the cookies are done. timing. Okay, I'll forgive you for beating me. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Alrighty, that was so fun, guys. That was fun to go over to her house, even though I didn't have the brownies because they didn't work out. It was still fun to go over there and hang out with um, my mom, actually. And so the growth chart. So the idea behind the growth chart is super cute. It's just that you would take um, a Sharpie and write the date that your little one has reached this height. So it's a nice little keepsake to have. And I love that she did it with the rainbow theme to go along with Noah's Ark. Um, so again, I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. And I'm glad you stuck around because I want to share with you um, something that's a freebie that I made for you. I love to give away free things to you guys sometimes. Um, so this week we have this adorable and brand new little snowflake block that you could do so many things with. You can get this free with a $50 purchase and there should be a code right at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if it's on this side or on this side, um, but there should be a code down there that you can use. And again, that's just free with a $50 purchase. So this is so versatile. I feel like you could do multiple different colors. You could create a small wall hanging, a cute little table topper. The possibilities are endless. So if you do snag this for free and you make something fun with it, even if it's just a cute little large mug rug, share it, share a picture um, with us because we love to see those. So thank you so much for joining us for episode three. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did and I will see you next Friday.